Hi everyone and welcome to Edolio's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll learn how to add percentage of column total in a pivot table. Now, what does that actually mean? So let's say we have this data. We have months, we have products and we have sales of all these products for different months. And you want to do a simple analysis and find out which product is contributing to how much sales. So for that, we'll have to look at sales contribution of each of these products to identify which product is getting us the most sales and which products are getting us the least sales. So to do that, first, I'm going to create a pivot table. So I'm just going to select all of my data. So use control A, go to insert tab, click pivot table. So this is the entire range. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to put products and drag it under rows, put sales under values. Now let's just zoom in a bit. So right now you can see that laptop is contributing to this much sales, microwave to this much and so on and so forth. Now to quickly analyze, you can say, hey, my most sales is coming from microwave and my least sales is actually coming from laptops. Because the data set is so small, it's easier to visually know what is happening. But imagine if you have 20 products across various months where the sales are nearly the same of different products. So it becomes harder for you to quickly get the information by just looking visually. So here checking the sales in terms of a percentage will help us a lot. And that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pivot table fields, drag sales again and put it under values. So now we have the sales here. We also have the sales here. So I'm going to select the cell, right click. Now from here, I'm going to select show value as and from these options, I'm going to select percentage of column total. So this is where we are telling Excel that, hey, add a percentage of column total in this pivot table. Now, as soon as I do that, Excel will convert these sales values in percentage. So now you know that 42% of our sales is coming from microwave, 22% is coming from speakers, 18 from refrigerators, so and so forth. So laptop is at 6.9% while mobiles is at 9%. So now you exactly know how much contribution each product is giving you in terms of a percentage value. So this helps you quickly analyze data when you start looking in terms of percentage. Now, of course, if you want to do a deeper analysis across months, you might want to show values as percentage of row total, in some cases, grand total and so on and so forth. So there are different cuts to this depending on how deep you want to analyze and how many different data points are there to analyze. If you want us to build a dedicated video on how to analyze data in Excel to get insights, make sure to comment want data analysis video in the comment section below. And if enough people comment, we will create a dedicated video just on this topic. Now, if you want to learn more in-depth advanced concepts like pivot tables, pivot charts, we look up index and match and much, much more do check out our advanced Excel course. It covers everything from beginner concepts to advanced concepts. The link is in the description below. Also, please show us support by hitting the like button and also subscribing to our channel to see more such content. It will push us to create more learning content for you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.